Welcome to the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck with me, Frank Baltieres, where I take you how to build your own food truck from A to Z or your food trailer. We start from the beginning, an empty trailer, all the way to a full kitchen on wheels. As you see right behind me, you got the hood, you got the sinks, you got the dish rack right over here. And in today's topic, what we're gonna be covering is getting ready for the season, coming up for the food truck season. I'm here in the Chicagoland area, so for us, it has been a very mild winter, but still, nevertheless, it's been winter. We don't take out the food truck personally, myself, in winter. But now I'm getting ready to see what kind of upgrades am I gonna do to it. I'm not currently building a food truck from scratch right now, but I am answering your questions. I've done quite a few of them, so I've become pretty knowledgeable when it comes to building your food truck. I've been in the construction business for a long time, so if I can build a house, I can definitely build a trailer. So I'm gonna be talking about three different things today, fast. One of them is, as you can see, I don't have any power right now. So I'm gonna plug in, I show you guys how to make this. It's almost like a temporary cord that you can use to power up your generator right here, or your generator box being your trailer, and you connect it to your house. So it gives you very slight power, very minimal power, that way you can run your basic stuff if you wanna run your lights and things like that. So I'm gonna plug, plug that up right now so we can have some lights so I can talk to you about the rest of the stuff that we have going on. This is the actual generator cable that gets hooked up to the generator. That goes to the generator, that goes to the generator inlet box. And all these items that I'm talking about, you can find them in the description below. Then I try to tag everything that I buy from my paid Amazon links. If not, I do have a spreadsheet that I kind of made everything easy to find. I do have a small, small nominal fee for that now. I used to give it out for free, but not anymore. So if you want to reach out to me at rollingburritosfoodtruck at gmail.com, I'll show you how you can get access to that. But let me plug this in real quick, and then let's get some lights in here. Let me talk to you about uh, two and three. I'm going to turn on the lights right here. As you can see, I, I just plugged it in right now just to my house there. I'm going to turn on the lights. Actually, when I built this food truck, I made it like I wanted to be all fancy about my switches. So I actually put my back lights and my front lights on two separate switches, which I do not recommend you do. You want to make it all power up at the same time. A couple things that I want to add to the food truck that I've kind of been thinking about is I want to add, so in the beginning I was using these can lights that you see right here above. So these are called six inch slim pancake LED can lights that you can use in your house as well. And they're nice, they're, 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 they work well. What I want to add, and like I said, I'm thinking about it because I've been using it on Big Red that I built is a strip light. So adding a strip light right here, just so it can give me a little bit more light. I've been debating, like, do I wanna do it? Do I not wanna do it? This is kind of the time where you're thinking about, if you close for winter, this is where you start thinking about what kind of upgrades do I wanna do my, to my food truck? What kind of adjustments do I need to do to my menu to make it appealing for next year? And what I use is just Romex right here, 14-2 Romex. And that's what I use for my lights and basically the whole truck. So that kind of answers hopefully your question of um, the lights that I use. I used to use these can lights. That's what you will see on a lot of my videos. But the newer one, the last one that I did, which is Big Red as I mentioned, I use strip lights made by Lithonia, which are just big strip lights like this. Uh, I use two four footers and one two footer. And they are super bright. And they work, I think they look better because they give you more light and makes you like work a little faster, cook a little faster, and then you get your customers out of there and you can just, you know, start making money with your food truck. So that's that part of that, uh, of question number two, because I do answer each and every question that you guys send to me. I see each and every one. Uh, some of them I try to answer right away and some of them you guys kind of like stumble me and I have to think about it and how to answer it correctly. And another one that has come out recently, quite often is about the plumbing. When it comes to plumbing, it's kind of like your house here. So if I come down here, you can see my two tanks. I buy these tanks from Class A Customs. This one down here is called the fresh water tank, where it would have obviously your fresh water, kind of like you would have in your house that comes from the city. That's where this gets filled in right here. This one comes from the outside, and then you can just fill it with the garden hose at your commissary or uh, whatever is needed there. This one back here is bigger, and it depends on your county or the city that you're gonna be working in of what size tank they need. So 
So they give you a percentage of how much bigger of a tank that you need for your, uh, they call it the gray water or the black water, the black tank. So just keep that in mind. That's that back there. That's kind of like, it would be your sewer going out to your sewer line in your house. So how it works is pretty easy. Um, let me see if I can get in here. So right here, you can see this blue PEX line. If you see that blue PEX line right down here, that's how it supplies the water. So the pump, this is my 120 volt pump right up here. And what this does is I have it actually hooked up to a switched outlet. So whenever I need, if you see my switch right up top right there, that switch will power up my water pump on demand as needed. So what it does is it basically just kind of like sucks up the water, so to speak, to that pump. From that pump, if you see right here, if you can get that camera right in here and we can see that, we can, from the water pump right there, it has little arrows on this water pump. So from here, it goes off to here. And this, you see to the left, this can go to your water faucet directly to the cold side. And then the other side right here, if you guys can see this PEX line right here, this one goes to my water heater, which is right here. That's a propane water heater made by XL. And then from right here, as you can see, it literally goes to the to the water heater, kind of exactly like you would have in your house. Just think of your house, and it's the same schematic here. And then from here, you can still tee off and go out to your faucet, which is up here, which is just your cold side, okay? And then from there, that cold water line, it's going to have an output and it's all labeled. It's all labeled underneath on the water heater. So the hot water then gets connected to the hot water side of both faucets. And it's basically it. That's that literally, uh, how can I say, and it's going to, I'm going to say it in the best way possible. Don't overcomplicate it in the aspect of cold water comes in and it goes to your water heater, but, but it can tee off with little T's that you can see just like this one right here. That's that's what we call a T. And it can tee off to the cold water side of your faucets. The cold side, not the hot side. The hot side only comes from your water heater. So that's kind of like maybe the, the mis, you know, maybe we get over confuse it there. So the hot side comes from the water heater. The cold has to go in and the hot has to come out. And that goes to your faucet side I'm being the cold, uh, the hot side. Obviously, when you guys open this up right here, it'll say hot on the faucet. So that's where that comes in from the water heater. So it says hot there, cold there. And it's the same thing on this faucet over here. They call this the three compartment sink faucets. This comes separate from the actual sink. This one usually comes as a kit all in one. It is called a hand sink. Hopefully that helps you out on that question of how do I plumb my water? As I mentioned, I am not a licensed plumber. So if you do not have the full confidence in what I'm saying, call a local plumber in your area and have them come out and inspect it. They might charge you a service call fee, which might be a hundred bucks, 75 bucks, $125. But for your peace of mind, if it makes you uh, feel more confident in your work, they typically will do that. Um, I feel very confident in my work, so that's why I do not need to call a plumber to come see my work. Um, that's just that's just my opinion and that's just my perspective on it. But if it makes you feel comfortable, do it. I do have my electrical license, so in that aspect, I do like to give advice on that one because I'm fully confident in what I'm doing there. This one I've had to learn through trial and error on how to do it. I do like the PEX lines. We do not use copper on food trucks. Uh, I It's just very... You're moving around a lot and I haven't seen any food trucks with copper lines. So that's kind of like my idea of the day. Hopefully that helps you out on how to build your food truck with me, Frank Baltieres. I try to answer as many things as you guys put on the comments. Again, comment on the videos. Do not send me DMs on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, please, I, I please do not do that. Comment on all the videos and I answer each and every question myself. Thanks again and I do appreciate it. Oh, if you guys do want one-on-one -on -one help, also reach out at rollingburritosfoodtruck at gmail.com. I do offer that if you guys do need it. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Frank Baltiers, How to Build Your Food Truck.